Today, as I opened up episode number four of Osan Newbie Adventurer, after we gave it that three episode rule, you know, I was like, the one thing that would really sell this anime, just make it that much better, is if only four episodes in, we got a whole episode dedicated to a flashback. Said no fucking buddy. What was that? Like, how did we get here? Like, how did we get to a flashback already? Like, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, I always appreciate context, always appreciate, you know, additional things to build up characters that we have strong ties with. But the reality is we've only spent three episodes with this anime and to get a whole entire episode based on a character that I don't even know if I really care about yet is kind of wild. Even though he's the main character, it's just one of those things to where we just got 20 minutes uh, dedicated to his backstory. And really all it said to me was that all the things I didn't like about the show, this episode made it even more apparent. At the end of the day, the show's trying to be just like this zero to hero show. And now he's suddenly OP and no one ever discovered his powers and somebody did. And then you know, now he can go and be an S rank, whatever adventure. Okay. The problems I've had leading up to this point is like, oh, he must have been like in the back of the guild. He must have not known nothing. He must know nothing about adventurers. He must know nothing about this. He must know nothing about this because he's a big fucking dumb idiot. And he just doesn't know about ranks. He doesn't know about his own power. He doesn't know how, how powerful other, other, you know, adventurers are. He doesn't know nothing. So he must have not been in the front lines assigning quests and understanding, you know, really understanding adventurers' power because he's the one assigning quests and they're completing quests. And he must have never seen, you know, somebody actually be out there in the... Fi nah, he's seen it all. And that's that makes the the things that I didn't like about the show even more apparent. So as a kid, we because this whole episode was a backstory, as a kid, he spent his whole childhood just, you know, basically, you know how we had Superman or Batman or Spider-Man or Pokemon or whatever you had as a kid. You had that thing that you just, like, you knew everything about it because you were just so interested. Dinosaurs, whatever it was, that was adventurous to him. He had books and he had, like... Like, he probably had He-Man's poster, you know what I mean? Like, he knew everything, and he knew so much that he transitioned that knowledge into being an, you know, an adventurer, working at the guild, being an adventurer's receptionist, assigning quests, seeing uh, adventurers every single day, understanding the different power levels and what you needed to assign. He understood all of that. So it makes all the things that's happened so far with him being like, well, I don't know. I don't think I'm that strong. They're E rank. I'm only F rank. There's no way I can beat them. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, but you saw B ranks get molly whopped with monsters or a dragon or whatever. And it took you to be able to beat said dragon when B ranks couldn't. So now you have C rank, D rank, E rank, F rank. So if it took you to go and beat a dragon that B ranks couldn't, how much weaker are C ranks or D's or E's? So it just doesn't make any sense to me on how he's been this whole time because he should have very intimate knowledge on everything that goes on in the adventures. He spent... A quarter, basically, you know, a quarter to a tenth of his life at this place. It just doesn't make sense to me. I use, I think I, I said this in the comments before. It's like working at McDonald's for 50 years and going, holy shit, we sell french fries? It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if I continue with this show. Like, I, the other part of it is as I was watching this whole backstory, right? We got taken through his childhood. Uh, his mom was a baddie, by the way, too. Uh, we got taken through his... Tra and they, the other thing, too, is they depicted his parents like old, old, old. But like, I get that he went, you know, he's 30, you know, but they depicted him like... They, they depicted his parents like gray hair, like old, old, old. They're probably like 50 at best. Anyways, so they take us through his childhood and his... Uh, you know, he, he had the Midoriya moment, uh, you know, with the doctor going like, you don't have a quirk. Except for him, it was like, you have something very special. You just need to unlock it. 
and he basically didn't unlock it till the day he till you know till he the day he fought a dragon he turned 30 and apparently there's a system in the world as well too that's very like you have unlocked da, 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 level one uh, i was like okay i don't know how I, how I like that i get that they're trying to represent it but it's like he heard the voice uh, anyway so they take him through childhood he's a, he's obsessed with being an adventurer and everything his parents are very much against it his parents are very much proud because he never unlocks his power, so he decides to be a guild receptionist, and he spends day after day, year after year there. And then eventually one day he meets Rianette, and Renette, Rianette, whatever. He tries to save her from, like, a monster invasion. She saves him. He finds out that she's actually S rank. Okay. Uh, long story short is a monster's attack again. Uh, she agreed to go on a date with him, basically. He didn't get to go on a date because the dragon attacked. Uh, we find out that Rianette has PSD, PTSD with with dragons, uh, and that that particular moment unlocked his you know skill obtained. That particular moment unlocked his skill, and he was able to whap you know one shot uh, a dragon or whatever, which is probably like an A or S rank monster. And at that point, Rianette says, "I want to invite you to the Orichalcum Party Guild, whatever, whatever." And he's like, "Ah." <laughs> You know, all of that, all the episode, though, I was emotionless watching through. I didn't think the fight was very cool. I didn't think the animation was very good. You know, it wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't bad. Okay. It wasn't like bad. It just wasn't like, like there was nothing but like earlier today we, we watched uh, Wistoria, Wand and Sword or something like that. And like the fight is like, oh my God, like the animation is just like, oh, fuck, it's so, so, so good. But then when I watched this, I'm just like, like nothing. It's not bad. It's just not good. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's animated. You know what I mean? So that whole thing happens. And then it wasn't funny either. Like there was like maybe one moment, and I can't remember which one it was, that I know that they intended it to be like a <laughs> funny moment, but it wasn't. So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. You guys need to let me know in the comments. I just don't know if I continue watching this. There's another anime this season called I Parry Everything that's basically this show. But better, better main character, better story, better plot, better narrative, better animation. And I mean, that's not writing home any awards either. That's like a seven out of 10 on its like best. Like, I mean, like, you know, like the studio's going ham. That's like a seven out of 10. So what's this one? You know, I don't know, my friends, you guys let me know in the comments, but like, it's not that I'm not feeling it. It's not that I think it's horrible or unwatchable because it's not. It's just fine. And at the end of the day, like, I'm not looking to just fill, like, fill my time or waste my time to just find something that I could just, you know, like, background noise. Like, I, I cover this on the channel. It's like, I want to be able to cover and talk and, and have good dialogue about it. But, like, I just don't know if this one's it. So, anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think, what you feel. Uh, I may be back for episode five, uh, and I may not be. So, regardless, I'll see you on a different video, I'm sure. All right, my friends. Have a good day. Peace.